Hi there, well this little Christmas card that we're doing, we want to show you how you make the little wreath and I just thought, actually some of you will probably already know, some of you that know about um, maybe uh, floristry or whatever. We've got a little bit of floristry wire here and it's very very fine and nice and easy to use and I'm just using a little old pair of scissors to cut it, it cuts very easily and you want some pieces of wire that are about sort of two and a half, three inches long, something like that. And I've chosen some ivy that is at the end, you know, the, the pretty smaller parts at the end. And you want to cut off the woody bits. So I'm just going to cut off that woody bit there. And just give it a little bit, it's going to get messy, give it a little bit of encouragement to curve. So you just want to sort of warm up the stem a little bit between your fingers and just let that warmth that you're using bend the stem a little. You don't want to bend it too quickly or too harsh otherwise it will snap so you just want to encourage it to be curvy. And I've got another one here so you need at least two and I'm going to see if this one's curvy enough. This isn't the one that we used I just thought it'd be nice to show you how I do it. So I'm going to decide which bit to use. I think I'll use that bit. So I'm going to cut this little branch off. There we go. And then what you want to do is unite the two. Now what I, what I did on the other one was I put it so that they overlapped like so. So you get a nice concentrated area of leaves. And then when you've got them together just use that little bit of floristry wire to wrap around. And what I did was I went both sides of a leaf so that it holds it together um, without slipping apart. It acts like a little lock. And then as we go further along, you can just wind that wire in and further up the stem. Just twisting round and round, nice and gently like so. You can do this with your tongue sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> like people do when they're concentrating, or you can keep your tongue in. It's always when you're watching children, they always do that, don't they? Do fiddly things with their tongue sticking out. So you've got that fixed, and then all I do when I bend it there is I just remove the bits that are sticking out too much. So just cut those little ends off. Oh, don't cut the long one off, cut the short one off. Okay, and then we're going to just twist it round to create a nice circular shape. And this is when you decide who stays on board and who gets snipped off. I think that'd be quite nice there. Another little piece of wire and wrap that round. Again, either side of a leaf so that you don't um, get any slipping away. Because if it, it's quite strong ivy and it will, it's got a mind of its own, it will unravel at the slightest opportunity. So I just get this little lock on and then with this spare piece just lock it further around here. It's quite fiddly. Just keep wrapping it round. There we go. So that's that bit. And you see these two little monkeys how they're fighting there. Just tuck that in there. And this extra piece we don't need. So I'm going to decide whether I want that dark, actually it'd be quite nice to have that dark leaf, wouldn't it, in there. So I'm going to just wind some wire around that bit. And if you don't want to keep winding your wire to use up all of the wire, you can cut that off as well. I'm just going to get it nice and tight here and then round there and then cut the spare bits off there. So just cut off the excess that you don't need, got rid of that, cut off the extra wire that you don't need and then place it nicely on your paper. In fact I'm going to get rid of that end, I don't need that end anymore, let's get rid of him. And then you place it where you want so you can look above and see how what, what, what position looks nicest. And then what I did with mine, once I decided which way round it was going to go, I think I might put mine to look on the overhead camera like so. Then you can get some little bits of berry and you can just plop those in to cover up some of the wire. 
so I just put those in I just settled mine next to it so that I could just see those berries and not the, you know it wasn't all tied together the berries were just placed where I wanted them to be placed so you could do the same or if you had great patience you could wire these in as well but I just placed them in and kept it really still and that's how I made my little tiny wreath so it's very simple we just thought we'd add that on just in case you thought maybe I'd found that or um, uh, I could buy it in a shop I didn't so uh, choose the ends of the the ivy cut them so that you've got the nice sort of fleshy bit at the end cut off the woody bit and then manipulate it into a nice circle and there you go and I think that makes quite a nice little design for a Christmas